one reason why. OK, so uh, that is my only answer for you. OK, and now we are learning. OK, I have to teach you everything. OK, in later on, when you are an uh, 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 experienced engineer, you can say, ah, don't waste time. We just calculate there. OK, Mariam, you're absolutely right. I'm not saying that you're wrong. OK, but now we are taking a degree. I have to teach you look at different aspects. OK, Mariam, <laughs> I like that. Okay. I, 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 yeah. OK. OK, let's look at example number two. Now, example number two, yeah. It's absolutely a curveball. I like to I, I like to show you examples that make you go crazy. OK, if examples that don't make you crazy. You're wasting your money. And your time. OK, let's pick an example that will make you crazy because. Does my does my term test question make your crazy? Yes or no? Anyone? No, right? It's so easy. Where do you see Dr. Judge question? <laughs> Dr. Jet's question, you die, man. Sorry, Jasmine. I don't mean to scare the living daylight out of you, okay? But Dr. Jet. Yeah, you're really inspiring confidence right now. <laughs> oh, man. I've seen his question. I'm like, you know, his question, the only way that you could do it real quickly is you have that ex experience like Dr. Jet, okay? <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm not. Right, I'm only twenty, man. <laughs> so. Right, that guy is just like you know. When I saw his question, like, holy crap! Okay, <laughs> okay, let's let, let's like we can start. Uh, okay, so again, you see this word box what box beam. Now you understand what is a what box beam. Yes or no? So box beam is constructed from four board wood are fastened together. You know the spacing is s is equal to two inches. OK, and the uh, shear, so the resistance, the force, uh, resistance <laughs> per nail is equal to 50 pounds. Determine the greatest value of V. OK, so we're going to find V. OK, so we, we have this now. OK, so now. I'm 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 going to like briefly sketch this out. Okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, sketch this out. So, oh man, I really miss teaching you guys live, man. Watching those freaking videos are freaking me crazy, man. I hope you all feel the same. Yes or no? Videos make you yeah make. I mean, you guys maybe not. You guys are learning, but it drives me bloody bananas, man. Right. So this is uh. Uh, interesting problem. Yeah, I, I like this problem. I could not understand why before and now I could and not because I've grown smarter. Because of the rules I make. Once I make those rules, it's so easy to analyze. All right. OK, so this is our box. All right, so now. Uh, again, I'm going to I'm I'm not going to find second the centroid. I'm just going to give it to you. I want you to learn, okay? And then the IZZ is equal to one nine seven point seven inches. Okay. So we know that the shear flow, uh, the the shear force is coming down here. And how this thing is fastened, I'm going to draw. Okay. This is where the nails go through. And this is where the nails go through. Okay. This is where all our nails go through. Okay. So now we are given that we can find a Q first, right? We can we can we can find a Q. But before we, we go on. OK, we are going to, we're going to find the Q. Which is equal to F resistance per nail. All right, divide by spacing. OK, 
right? And then we are going to relate this to uh, VQ over I, right? So this thing can fail at two regions, okay? It can fail at the top flange, junction of the top flange and the web. I'm going to highlight where failure will occur. So failure will occur either here or here in the top flange region, or it can fail at the bottom flange. I better space out this. Right. <laughs> oh God. You guys are going to get a complete headache after this example. Okay. So now, so we know that uh, five, six. So this is our centroid. I'm going to just going to sketch. This is our centroid. So we are given. So this is 3.1. Right. Right. So that's what we are given. Now the three point one by right in a test you have to calculate, but I just I'm, I'm teaching now. I want it to be more efficient. So if we were to construct the shear flow, right, the shear flow will go like that. The longer the arrow means the higher the value, right? Then after that, it will come down here. Okay, in fact, down here will be the longest because it passes the same point. And then and okay. So to find the 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 top flange or to find the 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 failure of the top flange, right? We only need to consider this area. Yes or no? All right. So this is failure. So to find the failure, so this is Q for failure at the top flange. Right? Straightforward. Every everyone can accept this. Yeah, this is good. Can anyone tell me how about the bottom? What what area are we going to consider? What first moment of area are we going to consider? Anyone? Are you going to consider the web? Hello. For the bottom flange. Anyone? I would guess the web because that's where the flow is coming from. You will just take the web, right? Yeah. Right. But have you applied the four rules that I have told you? What are the four rules? What is rule number three? Rule number three say that the analysis has to start from where? The analysis has to start from Y what? Max. Okay, so this is the analysis direction. <clears throat> right, there's our analysis direction. If you just consider the web, means you only look at this area. Right? Is that the biggest first moment of area? The answer is no. The biggest first moment of area is here. Where? It's here. At the what? At the, at the bottom flange. So for the bottom failure, you consider what? This area down here not the shaded area at the web. Don't be deceived by those arrows. Okay, I repeat again, don't be deceived by these arrows. Okay, these arrows is just how the shear flow will flow. But mathematically, what did it say, right? The analysis needs to try for Y max maximum. If you just consider the web, 
right? If you just consider the web, the area is very small. Yes or no? I just show you that already, right? Where the where I I I did a a a, a cross. Yes or no? In in this area where I did a cross, the area is smaller than the what? Than the bottom flange. Again, applying the what? The four rules. Okay. If you don't apply the four rules, there's no logic why the bottom flange. Okay. Top flange, everyone say we are good to go, right? Am I right? The bottom flange, you got I, 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 okay, right? Okay, so now our our, our right uh, quickly, okay, so we know. So now we are going to do the top flange, okay? This, this is the analysis part, okay? This course is different from 2P. 2P, Dr. Koshi is teaching your procedures, okay? Whereas for, for 3A, is the analysis okay the analysis is the one that you really have to like like uh understand and know how to analyze okay so i just give you clues how to how to uh how to help you in analysis in an easier way so we know that so the resistance did we calculate the resist so the resistance uh so q a due to the nail So this is equal so per nail is five also oh, 50 divided by the spacing two and then we're going to multiply two again the two is not up and down yeah the two is because of left and right right left we have the nail right we also have the nail so this is equal to 50 pound per inch we are going to look at the top flange, right? So Q is equal to the cross-sectional area width times one. The center is 3.1 minus one divided by two, okay? So 12 times, oh no, no, 3.1 minus 0.5 times 12 times one. So this is equal to 31.2 inch cube, all right? So from here, uh, brain fart, sorry. So Q is equal to VQ over I. So V is what we want to find. So V is equal to, so the Q is equal to 50 multiplied by the I, which is 197.7 divided by Q, which is 31.2. So the V due to the top flange failure, is equal to 316, okay, 316.8 pounds, and you can round it to 317. So let's consider the bottom, okay, so uh, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, the working is not that long, so I do apologize. So I'm going to look at the bottom flange. I hope this enough says bottom flange. Right, so uh, sorry, I I go gone over by five minutes. Okay, so it's equal to uh, Q. So if we look at it, so the width is six, the depth is one. So the thing now is what I yeah yeah three point one. So if I take the whole thing, one plus five plus one seven minus by three point one minus by half. Right. So 7 minus 3.1 minus 0.5 times 1 times 6 is equal to 20.4 inches to cube. So V is equal to 50 multiplied by 197.7, right? Because Q and I are, uh, uh, no, V and I are constant, right? So this will be divided by 20.4. So this will become 50 times 197.7 divided by 20.4. It's good. 484.6. So from here, we know that the uh, V allowable, you pick the lower one, is equal to 316.8 pounds. Okay. With that, I'm going to stop the lecture today. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. I'm going to stop recording. Anyone?
any questions, please? 